Hello everybody, Rock of the Best here. Coming back to you with another video. This time being sort of a Marvel Legends collection video. Um, it's more like a Black Widow display video because you guys know... You guys are going to be watching this video around the same time that I dropped the other one. But uh, I did pick up the Black Widow wave from a Target. I saw most of it there. I picked most of it up. The only figure that I'm missing that I really want out of that wave now is Yena Belova to go right here. And then that would just, that would finish it. Um, of course, there's still some missing spaces about how it interacts with the other, um, parts of the collection, but honestly, it would look really good. Like, I, I can't wait to get those, I can't wait to get those, uh, that Yenna so I can just have it right there. But I'm broke after I got that wave, man. I'm just, um, I'm, I'm not broke, but, you know, I'm not that ready because, I mean, I have my Count Dooku pre-ordered. There's no more hunting for that Count Dooku anymore. Um, I had him pre-ordered the whole time. It's just that, you know, I wanted to get a jump start by finding him in his stores. I didn't want to have to wait until April 2nd for my pre-order to come in, but uh, I guess that's just what I'm going to have to do. And then, um, of course, uh, also waiting for that Commander Bly figure, um, my pre-order. It's supposed to start shipping by the end of this week, so uh, next week, uh, around next week, I should be getting it. But, um, yeah. Uh, so... Let's just start with this wave, guys. Oh, another thing I wanted to show you guys was this uh, light, or these lights up here. I changed the lights from down here to up here, so I like how that looks so much better. And I really like these Black Widow Legends, guys. It's just, they look amazing. I mean, the camera doesn't do them justice, guys. Like, just, it looks really good. So we're going to get into how I kind of pose that, how I move the stuff around. Now, there are a lot of accessories from these figures that I didn't use. Um... This deluxe Black Widow figure came with so many accessories, and I hardly used any of them. The Literally, the only two accessories that I used, like, um, I used four. I used those, uh, those two, um, those, like, uh, wrist effects for this Black Widow, and those look really nice. I like how those look a lot. Like, honestly, the deluxe Black Widow, she came with so many accessories, it's probably gonna help like posing for a lot of my figures and also Taskmaster came with quite a bit of accessories as well but those are more personal to him than the Black Widow who came with guns, um, explosive effects, a stand which I'm going to show you guys what I did with in a second but yeah those look really good I'm going to get to those in a minute. The stand um you see that stand it being really bulky in the way that it is um it's hard to incorporate into a collection and make it look natural especially mine with my format you know as increasingly as you go things get higher and having that big bulky stand in the front here with the black widow figures that's really going to affect how the visit like the visibility of the figures in the back so I, what i decided to do was uh exchange out the stand that wasp was on and put that one there and i like how that looks Probably gonna have to do a little bit of reposing because Wasp doesn't look as natural as before, but I do like how that looks. It hiding behind Giant Man, and I have those explosive effects on it to just help it out a little bit. Yeah. Everything on this side is the same as before. Everything on this half is the exact same. Um, yeah. That's alright. The, really, the only big change I've been making is to the Earth section. Oh, whoops that. Spider-Man finna fall off. There we go. I really like how this looks. That Taskmaster just stands out. These two figures were the two that I was looking forward to the most out of the Black Widow movie stuff that's come out so far. But these are the other stuff. This is the, uh, changed up my Captain America Civil War section because as I said in a couple previous videos, I'm not backtracking anymore with Marvel Legends. What I have is what I have. So, I realized that I wasn't going to get any more Captain America Civil War figures. Well, you know, what's there is there. So, that's what I'm working with. And, uh, that's downsized the Captain America section so it only fit onto that one bar. And, you know, kind of like how that looks. Plus, of course, that uh, the Falcon and Witcher Soldier movie should bring more figures into the section. Don't worry. that That's not it. And uh, I moved that Iron... You know that these two used to be together. This Captain America and the Iron Man. But I said I moved that back here. Um, to the Iron Man section, so I'd have, like, a front cent front and center Iron Man, because I'm figuring we're not going to get a lot of Iron Man figures, like, at least not new ones, anyways. So, yeah, might as well use that there. And, um, honestly, that Star Boost uh, Iron Man armor that's, that uh, was announced at Toy Fair, I can't wait for that, because that's going to work so well with, um, these other Iron Man suits. I just, I really want that Star Boost figure. It's probably going to go somewhere up here, 
maybe in there, but we'll just we'll see how it goes. Really, the only thing, the only pack I'll backtrack for is the Peggy Carter and Captain America to go with that. And the, I don't know what else. Oh, probably, nah, not the Pepper Potts Mandarin anymore. But yeah, that's the Iron Man section as it is. And, uh, but the best part, these lights look best. Whoops, look at that. Look at that, see how they're stripping off? That's tough. I might have to tape those up like I did for the other side. But the best part about these lights is how they look when the lights are off. So, let's turn that off. Let's get a better look at the collection that way. Look at that. We're going to start over here. It kind of shadows the figures on the front lines of the collection, but I kind of like how that looks, though. It still looks really good. The way that it kind of shadows that. Thor wave. I mean, the Thor stuff looks good with those lights. It does more justice to the figures at the back of the collection. The lights before, they were up here, so, you know, they didn't do... They didn't really show the figures at the back that well. But now that, now that that's there, now that the lights are like that, the figures at the back get a lot more justice. really like how that Iron Patriot looks. It looks so good. Frontline Avengers. And of course, the Black Widow wave with that one gap right there because of that Yenna missing. And I'll get her in due time. Yeah. Taskmaster, white suit, Black Widow. Love how that suit looks. Ant Man and Wasp section. Spider Man section. I'm really proud of this section as well. Probably one of my, one of the sections that I'm most proud of. I just, I really like how everything over here looks, how it was presented, how everything here poses and fits together. Vision back there, Iron Man section. Looking sweet. Of course, Black Panther section. This lights do it a lot more justice. And the Civil War section. So yeah, guys, that's it. This was a pretty short video. This is more of like a collection overview. Oh, but uh, I forgot. I did the same thing for the Black Series, too. Let's see how the Black Series look with it. Uh, they look pretty much the same because the Black Series didn't have a lot of figures at the back lines, but it looks a lot better now. I really like having the lights come in from above. Because it just, it looks, oh, and that looks so cool from the bottom. Look at that. Look at how they look from the bottom. They look amazing, those figures up there. Well, the ones that you can see anyways, but this is the Star Wars stuff. This is how it looks with the Star Wars figures. I really like how these lights look. They look so cool. They shine a better light on the Star Wars figures. There's a Sith Jet Trooper. Change that to red. You see how that looks? Fits the red with the Star Wars. Up there, let's change that to red too. That looks nice as well. But this I think the color that I like second to white is this purple. I like how that looks up there. And I like how it looks up here. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye. Rock the best out.